Good afternoon. Welcome to everyone here today, especially if this is your first time at Good Shepherd, or if you are just returning after a long absence. We are grateful that you have joined us to celebrate the solemnity of the most holy blood and blood of Christ. We invite you now to turn to those around you and extend the warmth social distance meeting to your brothers and sisters in Christ. Before Mass begins, we have a few announcements. A mandatory refresher training for current and new homebound ministers is this Sunday, June 6th, from 2.30 p.m. until 4.30 p.m. in the church. Please come to our XLP Faith and Move Mountains right next Sunday at 6.30 p.m. XLP stands for Exalt. XLP is a night of prayer, praise, and worship, a message and exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. Deacon Rommel will be our guest speaker. We see the bulletin for more information. And the winner of the movie selection for our family movie night Friday, June 25th, is Abominable. Please sign up on our website so that we may know how much to purchase for our free dinner out for our movie. Dinner will begin at 7 p.m. with our movie starting approximately at 8 30 p.m. We are preparing for in person religious education classes for next school year beginning in mid September. If you are interested in being a catechist or assistant catechist, we help teach our children in grades 1 through high school. Please call the Religious Education Office. As a reminder, when you come to communion, please consume the consecrated host at the altar by standing to the side and lifting your mask. At the end of the Mass, please wait for the usher to dismiss you and exit through the back doors of the church. You can follow the readings and the order of Mass with the worship aid available on our parish app and on our website. Please remember to silence your devices as a sign of reverence for God and respect for one another. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate God's love for us through the mystery of the Holy Eucharist. Since the beginning of time, God has loved and delighted in the people He created to share fully in His love. Despite the repeated rejection and betrayal of Him, God's love for His people never ended. In Jesus, in the giving of His body and blood, God offers us the way to become one with Him and know His love completely. Please stand now and welcome our celebrant, Father Mike. <laughs> Through my fault, through my fault, through my most famous fault, 
Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Now my God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls, and the sprinkling of heifer's ashes, can sanctify those who are defiled, so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God? For this reason, he is a mediator of a new covenant, since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant. Those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord.
He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? that he will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them, said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then after singing the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Sisters, brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Eternal inheritance. 
what a privilege you and I have to be part of the new covenant with the greatest bridge builder, the Christ. And finally, in the gospel passage of St. Mark in his writings on the Last Supper, the Passover, the feast of the unleavened bread in a guest room where Jesus and his disciples went. And while they were eating, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, This is my body. And he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is my blood of the new covenant, sacrifice of himself and the start of a new covenant of God's own people. A new, powerful agreement. How fortunate we are. What good news that one who feeds on me, says Jesus, will have life because of me. You might be asking, well, so what? How does this all affect us, Deacon Bill? What do we do now? Is there some kind of Eucharistic follow through for today? Yes. Well, St. Pope John Paul II said it best. We must not stand idle. We must heed the call to go in the love and peace and justice of the Lord. It is the Eucharistic follow-through. We have a right and duty to participate in society, seeking the common good and the well-being of all, especially the poor and the vulnerable. End of quote. Sisters and brothers, the Eucharist is not just something we cherish and adore from afar. The Eucharist is telling us to go in love and peace to change the world. The Eucharist lives on in us, beyond this church building, beyond the tabernacle that holds the reserved Jesus, to our neighbors experiencing hard times, to our friends and family crises, to those who do not love us, to those who need food and clothing, those who just need a shoulder to cry on. For we are Christ's servants. We are Christ's representatives. We are Christ's lights of the world. Fed in our festive banquet of love this evening, urged to join in a cycle of love and life and hope. We must not stand idle. And also, sisters and brothers, they'll know we are Christian by our love, by our love. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. 
To him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God lovingly provides the bread of life and cup of salvation for all who seek Him. We now turn to Him in prayer with our prayers for the Church and for the world. Let God may continue to protect our Holy Church. Bless her efforts in spreading the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who lead may be guided by the Holy Spirit in seeking the common good in their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That brokenness and conflict within families may be healed and resolved through the gracious mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That nourished by the Eucharist, the faith community may continue to grow ever closer to the heart and mind of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the special intention of healing for Nicole Fabella and the special intention of Thomas Merkayan, may our loving Father continue to abundantly bless and protect them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died in the light of faith, especially Luis Nazareno Oblet, Frank Hugo, all souls in purgatory, and for all whose death was caused by the coronavirus, may they enjoy the fullness of God's love at his heavenly table. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have recently died in our parish family, namely Joseph Parathathu, may he know God's perfect peace in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you invite us to the fullness of life through the body and blood of your Son, Jesus. We offer these prayers in his name. Amen.
and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless and acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also your servants, to those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, 
Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity and not share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please just see a moment. to come to this parish community to, uh, for uh, a month and a half to be with you and to share with you uh, this summertime, this assignment. I am uh, studying in Mount Angel Seminary, that's by Portland, in Oregon, and I am currently entering next this upcoming fall to the third year of college in the philosophy program. And so I look forward to meeting you all, all of you, each, each one of you, even though I know this community is very big, it's going to be a hard task, but uh, with the grace of God, I hope to meet all of you and to share with you some time. Um, I know that you have a wonderful pastor, Father Michael, and uh, he is going to, I know, allow me to, to be with the community and, and to die in this community that it's my first, my first uh, community after, after my parish home in Northern California in morning. Um, that's my parish community. This is my second time I am able to go to another community and share. So thank you very much and God bless. Thanks, Alex. And we're very uh, blessed uh, to have him. You know, they do exist seminaries in the diocese here. <laughs> it's like so young people just know, you know, this is an option here. We just uh, pray our prayer for our prayers together. Uh, we stand for this. This is uh, found in our people of use. Father, you invite each of us to share the life and ministry of your Son, Jesus. Send your Holy Spirit to form our parish as a community of missionary disciples. Teach us how to hear Jesus, to love Jesus, and to share your gift of salvation with everyone we need. Through the witness and intercession of Mary, guide me to deepen my commitment as a disciple of Jesus. Lead our parish to grow as an intentional community, committed to go and announce the gospel of the Lord. We ask these blessings in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. On just a uh, further note, you know, I had the opportunity to listen to a few uh, vacation sites that some of us are planning on, uh, you know, luxurious places around the world. And uh, so, if you have us, want to share where you where you're going to be working? Oh, do okay, you want to share where you're going to be working this summer? At the cemetery. So just you know, you're at the beach, hot sun, 100 degree at the cemetery. Right, thanks, thanks, Jesus. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pass ascended, go in peace and love. Serve the Lord and your neighbors. Thanks. thanks.